Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. This is Nico, and today I have a question that I found somewhere on the internet forums. I think it was Facebook groups or maybe Reddit. I'm not sure, but I just screenshot it and I copy and pasted the main idea. So this guy is generating a good number of leads for his business. But the issue is that when we reach out, the leads are either not relevant, not useful, or they aren't responding to ghost messages or any other communication. He asks how to improve the quality of these leads and target the real audience who are interested. Who are interested. There, there could be many reasons why the lead quality is bad. So here, like a lot of people would say, use Facebook forms or generate the website forms or whatever, whatever, whatever. However, this is not like the real deal. This is not the fundamental issue of the problem. Problem. The fundam the fundamental issue of the problem. I think it comes from the idea that you don't know who you're selling to, right? Who is your ideal customer? Who is your ideal customer? You have to start from there, because if you don't know who he is, how are you gonna able to get it right? This is the first po point I would like to make. We're gonna start with a who. Who is he or who is she or who are they or whatever, but one, let's focus on one. Let's focus on one because if, if we start adding a lot more people, there's gonna be a lot more confusion. The next thing that you would like to ask, what, do, what does he want? What these people do really want, right? So what do these people really want? For example, what they want, what's the core desire they have, right? And, and here I'm gonna ask, write core and it stands for core desire. A guy commented on my channel and he said he doesn't understand what I'm writing. I'm also don't understand, I also don't understand what I'm writing. <laughs> anyway, so for example, if you talk to like, let's say people who run agencies, they're gonna want more leads, right? They, they, they would like to close more sales. If you talk to CrossFit people, let's say CrossFitters, they would, want, they would want more strength, right? They would want more agility. I'm not sure if agility is the right way to, to say it. They would like to, to have more endurance. So the things that you're gonna say, the things that you're gonna promise these people will be different. Here, let's say, let's say CrossFitters are extremely uh, concerned about how much weight they, they, they press. So the way you do it, you start your ad to CrossFitters who would like to increase their bench press, right? They would like to, the bench press to go up and up. And so this is how, this is how you just like get the crossfitters, right? Because when you run your ad on Facebook ads, you might target like weight loss. You might target some different interests, right? You might target a lot of different things, but not everybody will, not, ev not everybody who sees your ad will be your target market. That's why. The first strategy to do when running Facebook ads would be to call out the target market and to promise the target market the thing that they want. So your big promise should be something they want, right? If you're clear in your intent of what's going to happen after they leave their name and email on the form, you'll get a much better response rate. If you just have a form, leave your name and email like the intent of, of these leads won't be very, very high. So the more you show marketing, like, I mean, content to these people, the higher the intent they'll, they'll have, right? So what you want to do with your marketing, you want to educate the people, right? You want to educate the leads before they actually leave their name and email. Right here, of course, some things will happen. Some things will happen. The more you educate, right? And the more you qualify people 
and how do you qualify by adding more questions to your form by adding let's say some i don't know just like qualifying you it means that you're gonna pre-frame more right the cost per lead will increase but the intent of the leads will be higher so here you want to ask yourself do you want volume if you want volume you do it extremely simple one super simple ad uh, to a lead form if you want to do it if you want quality you need to run the ad to a page or content or a video or an article where people can read about you what you have to offer get to know you and then go and book a call right or just like do whatever you want them to do so the longer the marketing the more you educate people the higher the quality of leads and this is as simple as that in many cases i'm gonna give you an example right i'm gonna give you an example let me let me do it like this so whenever i run a campaign I usually look for the cost per lead. And in some cases, some of my clients are, can we reduce the cost per lead? If we reduce the cost per lead, we're also going to reduce the quality of the lead. So we're going to have more leads that will be a much worse quality. Or said in another way, you'd need to go through a lot more calls or a lot more manual work just to pick the leads that will convert so this is a sacrifice that you need to think of making when is it when is it good to have volume it's good to have volume of leads when you have a mass market offer when your offer is for people pretty much a the mass could have let's say it a great benefit from your offer if you have a weight loss offer it's great but if you're if you're trying to help Cons financial consultants get more leads from the B2B uh, sector is just going to be a lot more, a, a little bit more complicated. The cost per lead in the weight loss product will be much less. The cost per lead in the financial industry will be much higher, but, but there will be better quality leads yeah this was the video for today this is the answer for today my name is nico on my channel i usually do this stuff i answer random questions i give an honest opinion about how stuff works and how facebook ads work i believe if you're a business owner if you run any type of business you should understand how facebook ads work you should understand how marketing works and the core, the heart of this type of marketing is usually found in Facebook ads. You can learn a lot by mastering Facebook ads. If you want me to help you out, get better quality from your leads, click the links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Usually English is not my native language, so I struggle a bit. I'm still learning. But yeah, make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.